Hello, everybody. Today we are going to be talking about metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. So let's first see what they are. So on our periodic table, we have three major groups of elements, and these are metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. Elements within each group have the same physical and chemical properties. For example, most metals share similar physical and chemical properties. So what are those properties of metals, nonmetals, and metalloids? Let's see. Starting with metals and nonmetals. Metals are typically solid at room temperature, except for mercury, while nonmetals are mainly gases and some liquid. Metals can be malleable. That means they can be pounded, hammered, and shaped, usually into thin sheets. And nonmetals are the opposite. They're brittle. They break very easily if they undergo pressure. So they're very fragile. Metals are ductile. That means they can be drawn into wire. And nonmetals are not ductile. So going back to them being brittle, if we try to form them into wire, they are just going to break. Metals are lustrous, so they're like Tomatoa from Moana. They're shiny, they're metallic, and nonmetals are exactly the opposite. They're dull and they're non-metallic. They're not shiny. Metals are good conductors. That means they allow energy and heat to easily pass through while nonmetals are insulators. They do not allow energy or heat to easily pass through, which is why we use nonmetals as pot holders to keep us from burning our hands. Metals have a higher melting point, which means they need a lot more heat to melt, while nonmetals have a lower melting point, so they can melt at a pretty low temperature. As far as where they are found on the periodic table, you can see that metals are found left of that zigzag or staircase, which you can see right here, except this one little block. And on the right of the staircase or the zigzag, you can see our nonmetals, and that one little block is now full. Now let's talk about metalloids. They're kind of like the oddball in the periodic table. They take the properties of metals and the properties of nonmetals. So if you know of the Pokemon Ditto, it's kind of like the Ditto of periodic table. So they are semiconductors. They're not a strong conductor, but they're also not a strong insulator. They're somewhere in the middle. And they are found on the staircase or the zigzag. So they're usually the easiest to find. And that is it for our metals, nonmetals, and metalloids.